Hi all year 8 and 9 students at Maribyrnong College, my old high school I finished in 2013, I think I was there from 2010 to 2013 and it seems like only yesterday I was getting to school early and playing down ball four square with my friends, trying to get a dollar off different friends to add up to buying something at the canteen. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem like that long ago at all even though it's like six, seven years since I was last at Maribyrnong. Um, but I hope you're all doing well in lockdown, even though it's happened a lot of times in Melbourne, but I'm here in my hotel quarantine, which is also not super fun. Got a nice big room though, got the bike. Um, and yeah, so I just returned from the Olympics. So that was an unbelievable experience. My first Olympics, something that I dreamed about when I first came to Maribyrnong. Um, I came to Maribyrnong to pursue my badminton with, um, Ben, Aaron, Mr. Walklate, Mrs. Walklate. Um, coaching me there so um, yeah it was just an awesome experience at the Olympics the vibe of all the Australian team getting around each other showing those Olympic values of you know excellence teamwork just seeing everyone support each other and kind of celebrate everyone's accomplishments was really amazing it really united the Australian team um, and then yeah just the respect for one another I think that's the main values <laughs> Uh, my most memorable moment from the games was probably just when I stepped on court for the first match. It had been such a build up, you know, the whole year of postponement of the Olympics, just not knowing if it was going to happen or not. So once I stepped on court, that's when I was just like, okay, it's happening. Um, this is what I've been training for. This is what I've been preparing for. And to have it come to fruition was really um, incredible. And I just really enjoyed that first match that I played. And that's actually the one where we won the first set against number four seeds from Indonesia, which was a bit of a surprise for our mixed doubles, but a welcome surprise. <laughs> um, so yeah, and what's next for me next? Uh, the main goal is the Commonwealth Games next year, pretty much the same time as the Olympics was this year, just one year onwards in Birmingham. So we have a good chance to medal there with less countries participating compared to the Olympics. So our main competitors are England, India, Malaysia, Canada, those kind of countries, Singapore. Um, so yeah, gonna head to Europe at the end of this year to play some tournaments, hopefully. Hopefully escape all the Australian lockdowns. <laughs> um, yeah, so once I'm out of quarantine, maybe take a little break if I'm allowed to, if there's not lockdowns happening, go on a holiday and then back into training to prepare for Europe. But I hope everyone is staying positive and studying hard, working hard, you know, the. The resilience that you'll build in these lockdowns is something that will carry through to your life, your athletic career, your work, and it's something that um, will just set you up for well in life if you can find ways to adapt to situations that are difficult like lockdown and to persevere and still try and get the best out of a situation and also finding those um, the things that help keep you happy that you can maintain throughout your life. So yeah, stay strong guys and keep being nice to your teachers. <laughs>